Hi, I'm Jeanette Larson with Growth Unlimited, and I'm really happy to be here today. Today we're going to begin a series of videos talking about hope and how having hope can help you take control of your life. Charles Snyder, a psychologist and renowned hope researcher, stated the following. A rainbow is a prism that sends a shreds of multicolored lights in various directions. It lifts our spirits and makes us think of what is possible. Hope is the same, a personal rainbow of the mind. Hope helps us remain committed to our goals and motivated to take action toward achieving them. It gives us reason to continue fighting and believing that our current situation will improve despite the unpredictability of the situation we're in. Charles Snyder developed a theory of hope. He stated that hope consisted of three distinct but related components. Those components are, first, goals thinking. That is the clear conceptualization of valuable goals. Second, pathways thinking. The capacity to develop specific strategies to reach those goals. And three, agency thinking the ability to initiate and sustain the motivation for using those strategies there are four types of hope that have been identified by researchers the first is called realistic hope and realistic hope is hope for an outcome that's reasonable or probable you often see realistic hope with people who have for example a terminal illness or someone suffering from chronic pain. They might hope for a small reduction in the amount of the pain, knowing that complete eradication is unrealistic. By the same token, a person with a terminal illness knows that it's not going to come out on their side. But the hope that they have is that they can get as much out of their life as they can in the time that they have left. And they can have the quality of life they want to have. That's where their hope, a lot, hope is. And that is what we call realistic hope. The awareness and the ability to have the awareness of what the situation is going to bring and what the ultimate outcome is going to be allows the person who has this kind of hope to observe and understand their situation while maintaining openness towards the possibility of change within the parameters that are available. It creates control in their lives because although they have no control over the total end of the situation, with the knowledge they have power and they're not totally helpless. The next type of hope is called utopian hope. It's a collectively oriented type of hope that provides hope that by working together with other people toward a common goal, we'll be able to create a better world or a better alternative to the situation that we're facing. Because we're not alone, and because we're actively making and carrying out plans to resolve the situation, it is something that also creates personal power and gives us an opportunity to take control of our lives. The third type of hope is called chosen hope. This type of hope helps us live with a difficult present that has an uncertain future. An example uh, would be the person again with the terminal illness. Although they may not be happy with what it is that the ultimate outcome is going to be, they have the time that they can work with between the ultimate end and the present. And they can take control of their lives by planning what to do with that time so that they can maximize the impact that they have in their lives and the legacy they leave behind. The fourth kind of hope is called transcendent hope. 
and it's composed of three subtypes. The first subtype is called patient hope, and it is basically a hope that everything's going to work out well in the end. The second subtype is generalized hope, and generalized hope is just a generalized set of positive feelings that are, are not directed toward anything specific, but uh, it, there's just a general feeling uh, that it's going to be all right. And the third subtype is called universal hope. And universal hope is the hope that everything is going to be all right in the future. And it's a defense against despair in the current situation. Universal hope often involves the belief in a higher power that will help make everything all right. Now, transcendent hope is a state of general hopefulness that's not tied to anything specific as far as what the end result's going to be. It's simply a belief that something good can happen. And each of those three subtypes that I talked about fall underneath the heading of the transcendent hope. While it's not as easy to define as the other three types of hope that we talked about, uh, it does create a sense of control because you have the power to choose the way you perceive the situation. You choose not to allow discouragement when you have this kind of hope, and you choose not to engage in the fear that often comes in an adverse situation. And because you make those choices, you're taking control of your life. Understanding the concept of hope gives us the knowledge to choose how we want to handle difficulties that we all face. This knowledge creates a level of personal power that gives us the ability to consciously make the choice of how we want to address the problem and what level of action we want to take to obtain the change that we desire. This is an, a, a, a prime example of what taking control of your life is. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Also, uh, if you're interested in finding out more ways that you can and more things that you can do to ch uh, take control of your life, check out our website at www.growthunlimited.org. Thanks for joining me. I like Growth Unlimited's mission is to help you have your life your way. We want to help you take control of your life so that you live the life you've dreamed of that you deserve. We have a proprietary program that helps you do just that. Check us out by visiting our website and take our free assessment to see how we can help you.